How you doing? This is Togi from MN Medical uh, Elwood Dislocation Simulator. Uh, we're going to have first time, uh, first exhibit opportunity after all this mess uh, in Tennessee. So uh, there's a sports medicine conference in Tennessee and I don't know, I'm not sure if you're going and uh, please uh, visit uh, booth by Soul Bones. They're going to have elbow dislocation later and also the shoulder dislocation later. Okay. Uh, today I'm trying to explain or give you an idea how, how you can use this in a classroom for athletic training program if you, for the clinical skill uh, class. Okay. Uh, first, uh, I, I'm assuming all those students, they come to a clinical skill uh, class, they already, they took uh, anatomy and physiology, so they should have basic anatomy uh, knowledge. Uh, show them the x-ray of uh, AP and lateral uh, when it's dislocated and not dislocated. Okay, I have a, a picture, so. Okay, and then uh, you need to let them practice. Okay, uh, they don't need to know how to dislocate. That's clinical instructor's job. Uh, I got a couple complaining feedback for sh uh, shoulder dislocation later because students, they're having a hard time to dislocate. They don't need to know what they don't need to dis they don't need to have to dislocate that's clinical uh, professor's job student they need to know how to reduce it okay yes it's hard to dislocate I mean, it's supposed to be okay for shoulder wise okay so if you're having a hard time make it the easiest setting okay and then dislocate and then after that you make it harder okay? you could do that so the same thing on this one too you know both models are adjustable Okay, so if you're having a hard time, dislocate, make it easier setting, and then dislocate, and then make it harder. Okay, you can do that. Okay. Uh, there are two techniques I, I see and I use. Uh, one technique I did twice, I used twice was uh, this solo technique, because I didn't have a doctor on site. You know, I work for high city, high school setting, so, I didn't have a system, so I had to come up my own way, solo technique, which this this is the technique I came up with, and it, it worked. Okay, so I did that. This is like a patient uh, student was one was on the ground, and I did that on the spot, and also one was already came off the field and on the, the uh, sitting the the, the uh, bench. So I did that. Okay, again, since I had a body strength, I did that, but. If you don't have body strength, let's say, or depends on the situation, let's say you're an 80 pound athletic trainer and then you see 250 pound football player, dislocated elbow, and you check, you do the steps to check everything and then you, you have to reduce it, then, you know, so, uh, Depends on the situation, you know, depends on the doctor you work with, depends on the institution you work with, you work for, and it depends on the state, it depends on the situation. But, you know, if you have to do it, you want to know how to do it, I would, you know, I, so that's one of the reasons I came up with, I want to get better. You know, if we get to the situation, I want to, I don't want to fool, you know, I don't want to show, I don't know what am I doing, so. Uh, Again, one is the, you know, solo technique, or uh, another one is the, you know, patient face down. I cannot do the reduction right now, so I will show you now another video. Ouch! So you can do that. That that could be useful technique for the people they don't have body strength, and then you encounter massive athlete, and you just you do not, and you can just focus on. You can have somebody to hold it this part, and then you can focus on traction. Okay, is it you know does it go back in hundred percent? There's no guarantee. Okay, I did I worked for high school setting for twenty years, and I could not make one. You know one which was not my athlete. You know they the uh, I, 
I got a phone call after the fact, about maybe 30 minutes later, and I got, you know, and then I get to the, the situation and this, it was, it, I, it didn't go back in. It was so hard. So, but you know, it's sooner reduce, it's easier to put it back in. Sooner reduce patient, you know, suffer less pain, sooner reduce faster recovery. So sooner the better. I'm not encouraging you to skip x-ray to reduce. I've never ever said that. But do I reduce it without x-ray? Yes, I do. Okay, like I, I work for high school setting. I don't have x-ray access. Okay, so, but I use steps to before I reduce. Okay, so that's, I have another movie, another video for that. So you wanna watch, please check it out. And, you know, it's, then you reduce. Uh, after you, you know, student get used to that, then I use this simple sleeve, okay, to cover the area. Okay. Okay. And then give them menstruation. What happens? Okay. And then what would you do? And then, you know, as the, you know, clinical professor, you have the sheet, you know, the paper, and then it's just checklist, you know, you know, what would you do? And then you can kind of test them skills. And then if you have to reduce it, why don't you do it? And how you do it? You know? Boom, and I guess I passed it, you know. So that's how how I recommend to use this model. Um, you know, I think it's very useful, this simple sleeve. And also, really, you can feel how it's go back in. I mean, it's as many as you want. So uh, it's 1500 plus shipping costs. So uh, you can place order uh, through uh, manufacturer, uh, Soil Bones. Uh, please contact info at sawbones.com, info at sawbones.com. They can give you a quote and also they can give you a link to pay directly. Uh, depends on that you might do the PO or you might pay directly uh, company credit card, uh, but they can take that. So uh, if you have any different technique uh, you know and you use, please share with me, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm curious. I, I heard, I saw one other technique. I made a YouTube, I also TikTok, which I don't think I would use that, but I just made a video. So, uh, so uh, thank you. Uh, please uh, subscribe and uh, uh, support my channel. So thank you, bye.